Hi everyone, welcome. I just wanted to share in this video um, how I go about loading a title sheet, uh, especially one that was um, given to me or created uh, somewhere else other than in Revit or from Revit or from Autodesk, I should say. Um, also, if you are dealing with a template file in Revit uh, that again, you did not create from a simple Revit template file, uh, this is the way to go about it. So for the most part, uh, this is meant for a class that I'm teaching at Columbia College, uh, Chicago, and uh, this is a third year level um, studio class. Um, it is a corporate studio, so it's a workplace environment. Um, for the most part, um, under your project browser, under floor plans, um, if only one uh, floor plan was listed. Um, you have probably by now named it either architecture or furniture plan. Um, you are going to need to right click on it. Well, first make sure that it's named correctly, then right click on it. And you're gonna be duplicating with views your finish plan, your architecture plan, your furniture plan, your electrical plan, um, not the reflective ceiling plan because that is an option in here, uh, but any other plan that uh, you feel necessary to share or show. Um, once you duplicate with detailing, you'll get a copy and literally I immediately rename and I immediately call it what it is. So I'm going to call this the electrical plan. I spelled that right. Yep. Um, and then on and on and on and on and on. And so basically you're going to make sure that you have created your floor plan views first, that you've created the section. So again, make sure you rename these. So of course, um, if this truly is a section of mine, um, I might be running uh, uh, north, oops, sorry. Uh, north section or however you want to name it. Um, there is my reflective ceiling plan. Um, I'm going to fix my spelling. Uh, but for the most part, again, make sure you have all of your views set up. Um, and then let's talk sheets. So how do I load a title sheet? First off, if you go under the view tab and you go under sheet composition and you select sheet, automatically what's what you see listed is what is loaded and so you guys can see the family files that I emailed off to you uh, the 30 by 42 horizontal cover sheet and 30 by 42 just simple <clears throat> every sheet other than the cover pretty much I have already loaded if I don't have any of these listed like yourself go ahead and hit that load button in the upper right hand corner go ahead and find your title sheet so you know again in the Imperial library we of course have a folder called title blocks and of course you can select this generic uh, title sheet that Autodesk created but again it has its title on it you need to edit it in some way um, I have shared with you um, some families some title sheet families so please use them because I just think it'll be easier and it'll look a lot more professional so you know of course I would load the cover sheet and then of course I'd be ready to load um, one of the corresponding title sheets so I'm gonna hit open to load it and of course I already have it loaded so that's why I'm getting this pop-up window so I'm just gonna cancel this um, and then I'm just gonna select it which it's already selected and I'm gonna hit OK and you're gonna notice in my project browser under sheets all of a sudden a new sheet has been created um, it might not be correctly titled, which it's not, and then you just rename it. So this is going to be my A1.1, which is basically my architecture plan. And you'll see when you rename it and you renumber it, it'll automatically rename and renumber also the sheet itself. Make sure you fill out everything else also, um, you know, who is the author, um, that is you, so you have initials or, again, your full first and last name. Who is being checked by, that is me, so LT. Um, date, of course, you want to give today's date or when this is due, which I believe is Friday. Um, so on and on and on and on. Fill all of that out with the first initial um, uh, title sheet because uh, that'll come in handy as you as you move on. And then, how do I get my view on that title sheet? Well, again, in my floor plans, I have that view created. So literally with my title sheet highlighted and open, I'm gonna simply just drag my architecture view or plan view 
basically on top of the sheet, let it load, and you'll see a box. Um, you'll see at the bottom of it a line with two filled in blue circles. That's basically calling out the title. And if I place this, which I tend to do in the center, you'll notice it'll get loaded. You'll notice whatever's in that architecture plan will get loaded. So I have a north arrow there. Um, you can see I do have furniture on in this architecture plan. Again, at, at, at any time if I decide I need to turn it off, I'll go ahead and do that in the view itself. Um, and if I need to change the scale at all, again, that is back in the view itself. So if you open up the view to, again, turn off furniture or change the scale of it in this lower left-hand corner, you do that first in the view and you'll see those changes either get made on the title sheet or then that's when you drag in your views to the title sheet. So again, create your views that you need, elevations, um, I don't have any elevations listed here, but I do have a section, but you do need elevations, sections, plans, um, everything that's on the checklist, and then create the title sheets afterward. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully this was fast enough. And hopefully, um, if you have any questions, just reach back out to me. But hopefully this is helpful. Um, thank you very much, and good luck as you wrap up. Uh, talk with you soon. Ciao.